How can you create an actual versus target chart here in Excel? And whenever you reach the target, let's say the way, whenever you reach the goal, the columns is going to be green. And the values that is below the target is going to be red, as you guys can see here. It's just a simple Excel chart and you can build it just using any type of data set that you have. But one thing that you need is actually to have a column with the actual values. And then we're going to create another column with our target. So let's take a look on how can we do it step by step from scratch. So let's find that out. Let's go. First thing that we need to build any type of chart in Excel is to have a data set. And here, uh, even though my data set have four different columns and a bunch of rows, for example, it doesn't matter because I'm just going to use two columns here. The first one is the date. Okay. So here I have the date, the first column I'm going to use in my chart. And then I'm going to also use here this last column where I have the total, the total sale, the sales a month. Okay. Then uh, here in, let's say, in any blank spot here, in any column that I, that I wish, we're going to start, let's say, with the column F, and they're going to just type it in here, let's say, target. And here I'm going to define what uh, what is my target. You know, there's maybe two different ways to set the target. Maybe you can have a variable targets. So in each one of the rows, each one of the days, the data that you have, you can have a different target. But here, I'm going to use the same target all over my spreadsheet. Okay, so my target is 12 and 500. Enter. Now we can click here, hold and drag it out to make sure all the rows contain the same number, the same target. And now I can use here the following column to define all the green colors that I'm going to have and all the red colors that I'm going to have. For green, I mean, I'm going to just fill it in here only with the numbers that are equal to or greater than my target, for example. And for red, I'm going to do the opposite. So all the values, all the total rows, all the total values that I have here, that is less than my target. So for example, we're going to do it uh, in an automatic way using the if function. But just to know what we're going to do, let's take a look here in this first row where I have here almost $20,000 sold. And as you guys can see here, my target is 12500 So my target is less than my total or my total is greater than my target. So in this example right here, in this situation, I'm going to use this value right here in my green column. But if I take a look, let's say right here in these two following values that I have, all these two values are less than my target. So I'm not going to use anything here in the correspond green column. So to make sure it's possible to do it, I can use equal sign if function. I can double click it here. And for my logical test, it's pretty much simple. I just want to check if my total is greater than my target okay so i'm gonna use here the great sign to make sure it's possible to do this logical test so if my my total is greater than my target comma so i want to type it in here the total itself so i can select here the total comma if it's not true else i don't want nobody so i can close parentheses and then press enter I can click here in the DAO right corner of the cell, click hold and drag DAO to make sure all the cells contain the same function. And as you guys can see, whenever I got, let's say, a total that is less than my target or the total did not reach my target. So that way here we can check that out because we have here a lot of blank cells, you know, with this void in values. Now I can do the same thing here for the red color, for the red column. So equal sign if Double click it. Now, uh, instead of using greater, I can use the sign less than. So for example, if my total is less than my target, comma, so I want to type it in here, the total, for example. However, if it's not true, or I mean, if my total is not less than my target, so I want to return here, no buy. So I can close parentheses and then press enter. That way we're gonna get here an opposite return, an opposite result. So as you guys can see, whenever I got here a value in my green color, I will not get no body here in my red column. And whenever I got a blank value in my green column, I got an actual value here in my red column. So now we basically done with all the functional part of this, let's say, target versus actual value. And now we can move on and build the chart itself. To make the chart, I can do in this spreadsheet itself, but I can also create another one. So I can click here, new sheet, click, right click, and then I go to rename. I'm going to give it a name. So let's say chart, for example, or analysis, you know, so you can just type it in any name that you want. Let me come back here to the report. I'm going to click in any blank cell and to create our chart here, let's say I can select everyone here that is in this right columns here. So I select everyone, include everyone in my selection. And now I can click here in the insert tab 
and then I go here to this first option, column, and then this first option again. So now I have my column chart. We can change something here to make the chart a little bit more pleasant to look at because it's maybe it's a little sketchy. So let me just select the chart area, Control X, and then I came back here to the chart uh, spreadsheet and then Control V to just cut and paste. Now we can just increase a little bit the size of my chart area, like this for example. I can move it around a little bit and one simple step that we can do that make a lot of difference, instead of using these lines here in between rows and columns, we can just read that off. So I can click here, let's say in view tab and guide lines, I can just read it off this. That way we have a more clean look in our spreadsheet. Now another thing that we can do is select the area of the chart, click in format, and then I can go to the shape effects, shadow, and then select the first option. With the area, with the background, we're done. But we still need to change a bit in our chart to make it like we saw in the beginning of the video. So let me just click here, blank spot that we have in our chart with the right click, okay, right click in the chart, and then I can go to change chart type. And with this option, I can go here all down below to the combo. Here we can create a combination chart. I mean, we can use here, let's say both, for example, columns and lines, or we can use column and area, for example. So this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna stay with the target, as area, for example. So I'm gonna change it to area. I'm gonna stick with this option here, area. The green one is gonna be the column, okay, the first option. And of course, the red is gonna also follow the same steps as the green, so cluster with column. Now I can click here in the OK. And our chart is pretty much done, I would say, but we can still make some change to make it a little bit better. So let's say I can double click in the column, one, two, to make sure I have this right window right here. And with this right window, I can, in the series overlap, I can ma make everyone here, let's say, uh, into 100%. And another thing, gap width, I can change it to 100, maybe, or 19%, I think it's good now. Okay, now I'm gonna go here to the effects, I'm gonna use a shadow, and I'm gonna stick with the first option, for example. I'm gonna do the same thing for the this gray column that I have here, okay, so the gray one. I'm gonna use also shadow here, and then I can come back here to this orange one, and now I can change the colors. So for example, I know that all these orange columns are actually the green one. Why? Because I have here the legend. But even if I do not have here the legend, I can also tell these orange columns are all the values that just reach and surpass the, the goal, because as you guys can see here, the blue area is our target. So if your target is just below, in a lower level than our orange chart here, we can tell the orange chart is the chart that just surpassed the target. So we can change the color to, let's say, to a green color. I can go here to the fill and line, and then I can select, let's say, fill, and then I can change to gradient fill or solid fill, for example. I'm gonna stick with the solid fill option, and for color, I can use a green one. But instead of using these patterns that Excel gives to me, I'm going to create my own green that looks like this. And if you want to use as the same green as I'm using here, you can click in more colors option. And then here you can customize, you can use standard colors and you, of course you can customize your own color. You just need to follow these numbers that I use here, red, green and blue. Okay, so we just copy that and then you can click here. Okay, and we're pretty much done. Now we, I can go here to the column chart and then the same thing, solid fill, and this one is gonna be the red one. Instead of using the standard color that Excel is giving me, I'm gonna create my own red color that is equal to these values right here. You can copy and paste into your Excel, okay? Now I can click here, okay? The area of the chart, this blue area, I can change to yellow, so let me click here, and then I go to solid fill, and I'm gonna use a yellow, a yellow that I just created before, so if you all want to copy it, you can, of course. So just copy these numbers right here and then click OK and we basically done. So this guys is our actual versus target chart here in Excel. I hope you guys this video can help you out and of course if you want to just change the title of the chart you can do it. So let me just click here. So this is going to be my target versus actual chart. Okay, now we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any suggestions, just comment down below because it can help you out and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.